be up in here. They all float. Down here. Hey. I. Reviews. It's up in here. So, we're a little late with this one. Apologies. Yes. Uh, technical difficulties on the first one. Some of you may have seen it. There was no audio. None at all. None at all. We were just sitting here like this. My, my, my bad. My bad. That's my fault. He's the tech guy. Um, so, I, I should have checked it prior to uploading. <laughs> I did not do that. I was in a hurry. So, this one is our review of It. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let my resident horror specialist here, Ian... Start off. Yes, uh, I love horror movies. I was looking forward to it. <laughs> Very looking forward to it. I was looking forward for a decent horror movie, and it did not disappoint me at all. It was actually pretty, pretty good. Better than I expected. I thought it'd be okay remake. This was actually a pretty, pretty good remake. Uh, probably one of the best horror movies in recent years. Side of a few movies here and there. Um, so. From the start to finish, uh, I'm waiting for the sequel, because they did it in two parts, so it's going to keep coming from that part. How do you feel about it? Um, me being a non-horror movie fan, <laughs> uh, I didn't even really want to go see this, I'll be 100% honest. I was like, I man, dragon. I don't want to go see this. I watched the original back in the day, you know, ooh, I'm not the type of guy to be scared of clowns or anything, so it didn't have any effect on me. All I thought was, back in the day, Tim Curry... Could be a scary mofo, pretty much when he wanted to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now this version I thought was pretty good. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and, and give this one four stars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out ahead and rate it before you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to the punch, okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars and a pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> because I was actually kind of shocked. Um, I liked. I remember in the original that the, the kid kind of had a mouthpiece. I think yeah. his name was. I think his name was Rick or Ricky. Yeah. Um, and he, he kind of talked a bit, but this one, they, they amped everything yeah. up just a little bit. Um, and I thought that gave the movie a whole new feel in a good way. Yes. Uh, not in a bad way. And I, I've heard some people, I've seen some reviews, and people are judging this one off the entire uh, TV, made for TV. Yeah. Movie. I, feel like I said originally I couldn't you rate it. You can't do that. Until you see both parts. Just off of the kid history that we saw in the original, compared to this one, miles better. Yes. Miles better. It took for sure. a few scenes that are memorable if you've seen the original. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they amped it up. A lot. They amped it up a lot. Special effects, just the story, a lot of things yeah. in here. It did kind of remove a, like one little major scene that most people might remember. They kind of took that out. But for most of the scenes are in there. We will talk about that in a moment when we yes. get to the spoiler section. Um, so since I jumped out and gave it the rating, yeah. what would you, our resident horror uh, expert, give for it? For horror, if you're a horror fan, what I would give you, it a, What would you rate it? it? I rate it, it at uh, <laughs> four and a half. Wow, four and a half. Four and a half. If you're so, dealing, that's, so that's basically like saying don't miss this in the theater. Yeah, especially if you're a horror movie fan. Oh, okay. If you're a horror movie right. fan, I give it from a horror movie rating of like four and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, even as a basic movie, if you just don't like horror, I mean, it's still a good movie. Yeah, there's scary parts in here. You might jump, but overall, it's a good movie with a good story. So yes, it's just it's categorized in horror, but it's a good movie. Okay, that's I I would definitely say that's fair because it it made me laugh. Yeah, uh, I saw a few people do a couple of jump scares, not a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but definitely a lot of people laughing. Yes. And yes. kind of more like people like oh like what's gonna what's gonna happen, yeah. which is kind of surprising. Given the fact that I would wager a majority of these people that are watching this rated R movie do not bring your kids. Someone tried don't. to bring some kids and they started screaming and they got walked out of my theater. Um, so don't do that, please. Be respectful. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, they're, I was kind of surprised that people were like, oh, like they were kind of very engaged wanting to see yeah. how this was going to be depicted. Um, I thought they did a really good job. Uh, so overall, definitely go check it out. Yes. Um, Actually, we just got back from another movie, uh, and I saw about half the people at that theater were actually still going to go watch it. Yeah. So it's, do it's doing good. Um, this is the time where we say if you don't want to see uh, us talk about spoilers for it, yes. go ahead and hit stop, 
Go to the next video, watch some more of our videos. Yes. Uh, go down here and comment. Go rewatch all of them. If you'd like. Discuss. We'll watch all of them. But this is the time where we're going to talk about spoilers. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Spoilers. Okay, so the scene we were talking about earlier. Yes. That I'm actually kind of upset that it's not in it. I thought it held a lot of, I don't know, like, memories for me. Memories for me. <laughs> Uh, this is battery acid. <laughs> right with this with this inhaler, which I thought was coming when I watched the I movie. I was waiting. I think they did it on I'm purpose. I'm not even kidding you. I was I think literally they, waiting. I, was, I think I was they like, did that like, on purpose. Oh, I think they he's purposely... got his little fanny pack <laughs> with his inhaler. He's yeah. gonna get him. They're they're all tooling up to fight him, and it never happens. I think they did it on purpose. I think we happens. couldn't replace that scene, so they just didn't have it. I just think because like. I feel Everyone like they totally remembers it, and I feel like that's like the most memorable thing from the original It is I, that scene. I feel like they totally could have because that kid who played the, the little sickly boy, yeah, he played a little sickly boy extremely well. He did, <laughs> he did, but I, I think it was just they he chose another way to get over the fear, and then that was like how they started getting over the fear was that, mm. and they chose a different way to do it because that didn't happen until like the end of the movie. That they chain together was like. Uh, Rather interesting yeah. because it was like more of a like a like a buddy type yeah. of way. Like I don't, it might sound kind of cliche, but it's not in like in a campy like cute kind of way, but more of a organic, realistic way yeah. that people would become friends. Like, hey, you know what? I got your back. Let's band together yeah. and get this mother right. So it was kind of kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> not a oh I'll help you, uh, Rick. Uh, Timmy, Bobby? No. No. It was like, you know what? Like we're, we, we're tired of you. We're going to stop you. Like, we got a choice here because if we don't, we're going to die. Exactly. And I ain't trying to die. So. Exactly. It's either us or we're dead. So. It I'm almost reminded me of, uh, do you ever see Monster Squad? Monster Squad, yes. I did <laughs> see Monster Squad. Like, it literally reminded me of that for just a brief moment <laughs> where they all, like, start putting stuff together, making yeah. the stakes and, you know, the silver bullets and all that other stuff. Kind of reminded me of that for like a brief moment, just a brief moment, yeah, brief moment. But um, other spoilers to talk about. Um, his arm though. Oh yes. So that, that got me. So like not in a bad way. Not that I got scared, but just to myself, I said, "Damn." Yeah. So earlier in the movie, there's a scene where the guy, the kid, you know, gets pulled down. Everyone kind of sees it. There's memes about the kid getting pulled in a little storm drain yes. and things like that. But you see the scene, you're expecting, okay, he's going to get pulled down. And then the scene happens, and his arm gets ripped off. And you're like, Pennywise becomes oh. like, I don't know, what would, what would you say? Like a, like a, I think they, I don't know, like. I think they allowed more of his multiple monsters. Multiple rows of teeth. Yeah. Because, ah. They allowed more of his monster side to show out in this movie yeah, this one, than, than the original. Yeah, and so that's why it kind of ripped the arm off to show Hey, he's really a monster, and that long arm come in and say, "Nah, kid, get over here. You're going into storm drain." Yeah, which is wild. Yes. And he's even trying to crawl away with like you know a nub of an arm at that point. With the old lady sitting there watching the whole thing, going, "Dang, that kid got messed up. I'm gonna go ahead and tip well, my dog." Well, she doesn't technically see it. She just notices that there's she a little boy. She knew the kid was doing something. Looking down and at the train. And she didn't say nothing to the kid. And then right? she comes back outside, the kids in there, there's a trail of blood, and she was like, this is none of my business. I'm going to go back inside. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, obviously something was up in that, in the town yes. of Derry. Yes. Maybe the air. I don't know what's going on in the air tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other memorable things for me, uh, like I said before, the, the mouthpiece, uh, Ricky. Yes. Really funny to me. I heard some people say that they didn't care for him. They thought his he talked too much in the movie. But I mean, if you look at the original, he ends up like as an adult being a comedian, and they made it more sense. Like, okay, this is how he'd be a comedian. He basically yes. makes fun and makes jokes constantly. Yep. So now you can see in the future when he's an adult why he makes a living standing up in front of people and making them laugh. And he clowns, which I thought was... They did a oh, really yes. awesome job. That scene where he says... He, in the clown room. He says he, may, he hates clowns, and then he turns into a room, and then there's just a room full of clowns. Nice and creepy clowns, as as you might add, throughout the entire time. And he's just like... Everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Thank you for putting me in a room full of clowns. And then, the fa and, and then at the end, like, I... I'm almost positive that, that that speech is not in the original TV 
uh, movie. Oh, where he goes to grab the bat? Yes. <laughs> that is that is the best feature. If it is, then for some no, it's not for in there. some reason I must have forgotten. It's not in there. But then, I would have The speech that. he makes when he tells when he basically tells it's them, awesome. "Hey guys, go leave me here." He's like, "Oh, you done broke something." But <laughs> <laughs> but the speech he makes where he's telling his friend like, "Hey, you made me do this. I didn't want to come down here. I didn't want to go do all this, but now." You gonna make me have to go ahead and beat this clown down, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was I was not expecting that. When he at pulled all. the bat out, he was like, I made sure he was about to walk away, and he was like, "You gonna make me have to go ahead and beat a clown?" I thought he was gonna say something else, <laughs> not not the way he said it. <laughs> that was not expected. That was like the best rallying cry yes. ever. Like as soon as he said that, everyone was like, "Yeah, man, let's stomp this." Fool. And before they even do that, he gave that. Right <laughs> Home run, <laughs> Hank Aaron style. Bow. So it was was in the movie. I feel like they've they mixed some things that were in the adult version and they kind of put it in the kid version because the part where they all stomp them out happened kind of when they were adults, which to me thinks the original might have merged some stuff together for time. Possibly. And yeah. this one they might have just pulled it back out. Full full disclosure: neither one of us have read the book, so we're no. not we're not judging it based off that. Only judging on the on this particular body of work based off of like half of the yeah. first TV movie because that one is like super long. What is it like four hours, five hours? Uh, well, without commercial, it's like three and a half for oh, three and twenty okay. minutes or something like that. But with you know, it's like two hours originally with commercials, and they did the two well two hours each, so four hours with commercials, the original show. But um, it's it's on par. I'd say if this is the beginning. They're doing a good job. Now you yeah. see a second half. I'm with definitely the interested in seeing a sequel. The sequel uh, with adults, which I, like... I'm personally surprised that. Yeah. Because uh, I'm like, I didn't even want to watch the first one. Yeah. But... I mean, a lot of people are turned off by horror, but I will say a lot of times horror movies have like the best plot twists, or like story-wise in in movies. Like one movie I like, Cabin in the Woods. Plot twist I never even saw coming in that movie, and it was a great plot twist. True. One movie I hated, Insidious. But that's all I said is two freaking plot twist. Made one great and I hated one. Two made one great. That's plot twist. Hmm. So in terms of horror movies, kind of times most people shy away from them. Most people shy away from it because, oh, it's a horror movie and it's clowns. But the movie in general is a good movie. And if you're looking to see a good movie, it's a good movie. Definitely. Definitely. So, uh... That's it from us. Uh, next week, we will be reviewing... Kingsman. Golden Circle. Yes. It's pretty American. Pretty American. Yeah. And Holly Berry. <laughs> Holly Berry. Holly Berry. Holly Berry. <laughs> Holly Berry. Mm. So, yeah. So, that was another A. I. Reviews. That's right. Don't forget to comment down below. Comment on Like, scri- subscribe. Subscribe it. Click the bell if you want notifications when we when we post. Click it now. Usually gonna be every Thursday evening. Yes. Let us know if you want us to do it more often on or if you have any suggestions for yes. additional TV shows. Like if you want to do us do on certain shows or if you're looking for just maybe Netflix movies or things like that. We we can do that. We can. Let us know. Let us know. Make sure you share it though. Share Peace. It. Peace. <laughs>